Elvis Presley may have been the king of rock and roll, but he wasn't exactly a saint. Sometimes he would get pretty upset with his daughter, Lisa Marie Presley. One time he paddled her just because of something she did with her crayons. Now, before you jump to conclusions, it's important to look at the situation from all sides. Elvis didn't seem to be motivated purely by anger when he punished his daughter. In fact, after hearing what she and her mother had to say about his spankings, it appears he was more than likely just trying to protect her from getting into more serious trouble. In 1985, Priscilla Presley wrote a book that revealed what her husband thought right after he spanked little Lisa Marie. Keep watching. The Reason Elvis Got So Upset With His Daughter Priscilla described the time when Lisa Marie scribbled all over a velvet couch with her crayons in her memoir, Elvis and Me. Apparently, after seeing what happened to the couch, Elvis became irate and decided he needed to paddle Lisa Marie to teach her a lesson. Priscilla said that after the paddling, Elvis got upset about his response to his daughter's actions, and he immediately went into full-on panic mode. Elvis desperately wanted Priscilla to comfort him, assure him he'd done the right thing, and that Lisa wouldn't resent him for it. Although her husband was clearly upset about his own knee-jerk reaction to little Lisa's behavior, Priscilla responded rather mildly to his action. She told him if he hadn't spanked her, she would have done it herself. But the interesting thing that Priscilla brought up in her book is the fact that this wasn't the only time Elvis spanked Lisa Marie. Priscilla wrote that Elvis paddled her another time after she failed to heed his admonitions to stay away from their swimming pool. When she disobeyed his warnings and went close to the pool anyway, Elvis got very upset and spanked her once again. But according to Priscilla's recollection of events, Lisa Marie didn't have a negative reaction to Elvis's discipline. She says Lisa Marie remembers these two spankings quite well and is to this day reportedly proudly pleased by her dad's corporal punishment. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stay tuned to learn all the gritty details that emerged in Lisa Marie's 2017 divorce filings. Lisa Marie recalls another time getting spanked. Talking to the Huffington Post, Lisa Marie recalled how she'd spend quite a bit of time with her father on the upper floor of Graceland. She would try her best to sneak around him because she was always getting into some kind of trouble. Lisa Marie told the press outlet whenever her dad's door was open and he was sitting up there, she'd always try to sneak on by because she was constantly making mischief. If he saw her out of the corner of his eye, he'd call out her name. She would then go into his room trembling because she knew she'd probably done something naughty or had broken something or had done something she knew she shouldn't have. She's the first to admit she was a little hellion as a child. But Lisa remembers how her father would get especially upset whenever she hurt herself. On one occasion, she got on a motorcycle with her friend, even though Elvis told her explicitly not to. When he was fast asleep, Lisa Marie had an accident and the motorcycle fell on her leg. The muffler landed on her leg, leaving her with a blister. When Elvis saw it and found out what she had done, he spanked her once again. He would get especially upset with her whenever she put herself in danger. Lisa Marie says, generally speaking, he wouldn't get upset with her that easily, but in cases like that where she put herself in harm's way, he would get especially exasperated. But after Elvis died in 1977, he was no longer around to keep her out of trouble. Lisa Marie had to learn the hard way what the real world was like. Lisa Marie's family life is a train wreck. A few years back, Presley went through an ugly divorce from Michael Lockwood after being married to him for nearly 12 years. She filed the initial paperwork in June of 2016. Her attorney claimed Lockwood was a poor father, was verbally and financially abusive, and mismanaged her inheritance, leading to money issues. In February of 2017, court documents revealed that Presley and Lockwood's twin daughters, Harper and Finley, were removed from their home after Presley allegedly discovered Lockwood had hundreds of inappropriate photos of children in his possession. At the time, Presley claimed Lockwood was facing sexual abuse and neglect charges. Lockwood and his lawyers put out a statement denying the claims and the investigations into the allegations have since closed. Law enforcement found insufficient evidence to prove any actual crime had occurred. Even so, the girls, who were eight at the time, remained in the custody of Presley's mother, Priscilla, for quite some time. She told reporters in March 2017 the girls were doing great and they were still seeing both of their parents. Lockwood reportedly was allowed to have monitored visitation with his daughters, but Lisa Marie accused him of calling the paparazzi to make himself look like a doting father to the public. She went completely broke. 
Lisa Marie Presley revealed in court documents she received $4,361 per month from her father's estate. Beyond that, she reportedly receives an additional $100,000 per month in dividends from investments and other business ventures. In total, that means she takes in roughly $1.25 million a year for essentially doing next to nothing. That might sound pretty nice, but in that same paperwork, Presley claimed she's $16.7 million in debt. In February of 2017, the court ordered her to pay Lockwood $50,000 for court fees. Her legal team claimed she wouldn't be able to pay that amount because of her money problems. They further claimed most of Presley's debts were unpaid income taxes from 2012 to 2015, totaling more than $10 million. It also came out that Lisa Murray had $50,000 in credit card debt, although the documents pointed out she successfully paid off some of her cards in full. The documents also noted Presley had defaulted on a $6 million mortgage for her home in the UK, which she had been attempting to sell for a couple of years. Lisa Marie is suing her old business manager. In response to Presley's financial woes, she sued her former business manager for allegedly mishandling her assets. She accused Barry Siegel of turning her $100 million trust from her father's estate into a mere $14,000. Presley asserted in court documents that Siegel placed her funds in risky ventures, hoping to attain his own celebrity status in the entertainment industry. She further accused Siegel of selling 85% of her trust over an 11-year period. When his sketchy investments didn't pan out the way he would have liked, he supposedly started liquidating her assets to hide the money that was purportedly missing from her trust. Siegel's lawyers denied that their client was involved in any wrongdoing in regards to managing her money. They further pushed back against the allegations by accusing Presley of sabotaging her own financial stability by recklessly spending all of her money. Siegel's countersuit claimed his investments actually did pay off, but Presley blew it almost as soon as it was available to her. After depleting the funds, Lisa Marie allegedly stopped paying Siegel's company, Providence Financial Management. According to Siegel, Presley was only suing him because she was hard up for cash. Lisa Marie has struggled with substance abuse and addiction. According to court documents, Presley battled substance abuse issues during her marriage to Lockwood. Supposedly, her drug and alcohol issues were at their worst during the final years of their marriage. She admitted to abusing cocaine during the last year of their marriage. She was also apparently dealing with an addiction to prescription painkillers and was mixing her medication with alcohol in the last couple years of their relationship. Presley attempted to get help for her substance abuse issues on a few occasions. She recounted going to rehab in Mexico up to five times. Two months after filing the divorce paperwork, Presley received treatment in Los Angeles for prescription drug abuse. In October of 2017, it was reported Presley had completed rehab and she got custody of her twin daughters back. Her drug abuse problems go all the way back to her teen years. In 2003, she told People magazine she used substances like cocaine, sedatives, marijuana, and alcohol all the time. She admitted she couldn't stay sober and she was lucky to have survived those years. Lisa Marie's music career dried up. Presley burst out on the music scene with her 2003 debut album, To Whom It May Concern, which featured the hit single Lights Out. The album went gold and hit the top five of the Billboard Hot 100 charts. Unfortunately, Presley was never quite able to recreate that success. Her second album, Now What, peaked at number nine on the charts, and her third record, Storm and Grace, which was released in 2012, barely managed to peak at number 45. She hasn't put out another album since, and it appears, at least as of now, she doesn't have any intentions of producing more music soon. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Lisa Marie Presley will be able to stage a comeback at some point? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.